Okay, folks. I was really scratching my head because telephone's not really my strong suit, but I uh, did a little research and looked at the label on these RJ11 keystones. And you'll see they've got the uh, color coding for Category 5 cable that matches up. The uh, top is the old school sta uh, six wire station wire. And on bottom is Category 5. You will notice there's no brown on the Cat 5. You leave the brown and the brown white uh, wires from your Cat 5 twisted pair out. Okay, I'm not sure I can get this one handed. Kind of don't think so. But you see, I've got the cut side of the 110 blade. I've got the green wire where the green wire goes, orange wire where orange wire goes, and the blue white wire where blue white wire goes. I want to punch these down with the cut side of the blade to the outside, and then we'll uh, repeat the process with the blue, green, white, and orange white wires on the other side. So now that all the wires are punched down, and it looks like the green white needs to be punched down a little more. Once that's done, we're going to put the caps on, and we're going to insert this into the faceplate. That's the new uh, telephone wall plate with the keystone. It's all wired up. If we pan up, you can see the patch job where we uh, cut an access hole to be able to route this. This uh, wall is going to be sanded. We're going to pull these face plates off again. We're going to retexture this wall, then we're going to get busy with paint. Now that we have the uh, kitchen end terminated, we're going to terminate here on our 110 block. Our order for bringing the lines in is going to be living room, master bedroom, kitchen, uh, office, guest bedroom, garage. So living, master, kitchen. We're going to punch down here. Oh, now I've already tied... Uh punch down lines three and four on the third port we're going brown brown white green green white orange orange white blue blue white I'm simply punching down according to the color codes on the terminals now if this is wrong I'll find out when I go to hook up the VoIP adapter so for now let's punch it down See, I've got the cut side to the outside. And uh, we've punched her on down. Now we simply route the cable up and away. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have any other cables to go alongside with this. So I'm just going to tuck the rest of this cable into the wall. But I need both hands for that. So, for those among you viewers that are sharp eyed, you may notice that we changed the 1x8 uh, coaxial splitter. Uh, this is an extreme broadband 1x8. Uh, it's not amplified, we're using an amplified antenna. So I don't believe I need an amplified splitter. We do have a ground lug here. I am going to run a ground wire from here out the soffit and down to a uh, dedicated grounding rod. Um, there is a ground rod that's been sitting there in the yard for well over a decade unused because when I had cable run to the house, uh, from the, the previous owner never had cable done. They had an antenna. The cable company ran their own dedicated ground rod and abandoned the existing one from the prior antenna that was on this house years and years ago. Well, I'm simply restoring the uh, antenna ground that was. So, um, that's it. Um, oh, you can also see I do have one of the uh, 75 ohm Terminator caps. Uh, I 
have Terminator caps being shipped in from Amazon, and I think I might have messed up and not ordered enough. I need a total of, let's see, I'm going to have seven drops, two of you, two of which are going to be used, and so that leaves me five drops plus the one here, six, um, I'm just barely going to make it by stripping those 75 ohm uh, terminators off of the uh, direct TV splitter I actually will be able to just barely cover it with the five splitters or the five terminators that I ordered from Amazon they're a little late um, I will have a uh, lightning arrestor that goes on the input uh, from the antenna and then we're gonna be grounded so we should be fairly well protected Okay, that's the progress for today. I'm uh, pretty much tuckered out. I've been crawling around in the attic trying to find where the penetration for the coaxial in the kitchen comes through. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I can't find it. <clears throat> uh, I literally cannot find where the window box drops down. So... As soon as I find that, I'll be able to drag the Ethernet and the coax through, finish those up, and then move on. So, for now, this is it. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. Get out to your shops. Be productive. Be safe. But, most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later.